Hi, I'm Gianna Dior, and I am Holly Randall's Bombshell of the Month. Probably To Kill a Mockingbird. That's my favorite book, and I read it in high school, and I still love it to this day. I wasn't really like aware of racism before that book, honestly. And then like once I read the book, I was like, okay. And it kind of put things into perspective for me, like things that I didn't think were racist, like now I noticed. I like old school Justin Timberlake with the little curls and stuff. That was, yeah. It's like 2004 Justin Timberlake. I don't like puppets or pirates. Like I have nightmares about both. Like I just remember like seeing a puppet show a long time ago and I like have nightmares about that puppet show. Like I don't know, just something about it, it's sinister. It's someone's hand like acting like they're, some, or like the ones that you pull, that's real creepy. <laughs> I would go to the 60s or 70s because like hippie times and I wanna go to like Woodstock but I feel like we are kind of getting back to that time a little bit. Well, like some people are. Like I feel like people follow too many rules these days and like back in the day, they just didn't care. My job and excitement for the future. I'm just, for some reason, I wake up excited in the morning. I wake up early and I'm like ready to go and like get the day started. I'm a morning person. Some of my fans know, but I do baton twirling and I feel like every time I say it, somebody's surprised that I do baton twirling, but yeah. I still like do it sometimes. I go like go outside and just like throw them for a while, but I never see anybody else doing them. I did baton twirling for my Twisties Treat of the Month shoot too, which Holly Randall shot and that was a really cool shoot because we were like on top of a roof and I was like twirling my batons and stuff. So that was cool. Picnic on the beach. No one's ever done that before. I've done that like on dates or like just hanging out with people, but like not like a first date. I feel like that's so creative. Don't care what other people think. That has gotten me very far in life. Like a long time ago, I was like very worried what people thought. Everyone's not gonna be happy about anything. So I just, yeah, I stopped caring at some point. I don't know when that was, but yeah, now I just do whatever I want and people seem to just go along with it. I have many pet peeves, but probably my biggest one right now is clout chasers, like people who act like they're like woke, are they like, are like huge fans of like celebrities and try to be like celebrities or whatever. I hate that, like I just, like why do you wanna go out of your way to like be cool? Like just don't do anything. I feel like the coolest thing you can do is like not be cool. I don't like when people hear me chewing, that's like, yeah, um, I don't like when people breathe on me. Like if it's like someone just like next to me and they're like continuously breathing on me, I hate that. I'm grateful for everything, honestly. Like I'm grateful for everything, like everything I have in my life. Like I see like homeless people all the time and I'm like, I could be having the worst day in my life and then I just like walk outside and there's homeless people and I'm like, okay. Or like, I'm thankful that I can walk. I'm thankful that I have a job. I'm thankful I have a roof over my head. I'm thankful I have clean water. I'm thankful for everything. Honesty and sense of humor. Yeah, I hate when people lie to me. One of my pet peeves is people lying to me. No, I, don't, I wouldn't call that a pet peeve. I think I would just be like, I hate you if you lie to me sense of humor for sure, because then I just like can't have a conversation with you if you don't think anything's funny. If you're gonna be respectful, yes, approach me. But I don't like when a fan, like sometimes I'll notice that like someone knows who I am and they'll be like, 
one time at the airport, I saw this guy like looking at his phone and looking at me and like looking back and forth. And I was just like, just like come up to me, like say something, like you can say hi, but like just don't be creepy about it. I've actually never had a fan come up to me and like be creepy. Like most of the time they're really cool. Sometimes they're just like shy. I really want to go to Greece. That's like my number one spot I want to go. But I also want to go to Italy. I don't know, I want to go everywhere. But I haven't gone anywhere yet. My favorite place so far is Hawaii, just because I haven't left America yet, but Hawaii was really nice. I don't think I could live there, but like I could, I want to spend like a year there or something. I'm Gianna Dior. I hope you enjoyed learning about me and you can learn more about me on Holly's podcast.